here is the lobe of the kidney, where this out here is the renal capsule. Down here, this structure is the renal papilla. This region right in here, all of this region here, this is the renal cortex. Down here, this region is the renal medulla. But if I wanted to use this area to indicate a specific structure, that specific structure that I'm outlining here is a renal pyramid. Let's follow the blood vessels. This right here is an interlobar artery. The interlobar arteries will branch and form arcuate arteries. In this arcuate artery, you can see arcs around the back of the renal pyramid. This blood vessel that branches off the arcuate artery, this is an interlobular artery. It's also known as the cortical radiate artery because it's in the cortex and it radiates outward like the rays of the sun. Branching off of these cortical radiate arteries or interlobular arteries, we have the afferent arterioles. So each one of these is considered an afferent arteriole. Afferent arterioles would bring blood into the glomerulus inside the renal corpuscles. So this right here is a ball of capillaries known as the glomerulus. Sometimes people like to call these the glomerular capillaries, but they're located inside the glomerular capsule, also known as Bowman's capsule. Exiting the glomerulus, we're going to have efferent arterioles, and we can see those efferent arterioles here. The efferent arterioles are going to be smaller than the afferent arterioles. So what's going to happen is the pressure inside the glomerulus is going to increase and that's going to force the fluid portion of the blood out into Bowman's capsule or the glomerular capsule. Now that filtrate is going to be collected by the capsule and sent to the proximal convoluted tubule which is this right here. These efferent arterioles right here are going to branch in form the peritubular capillaries. Here we have vasa recta and on this side here the venous portion. Now these vasa recta, straight vessels, are going to run adjacent to the loops of Henle. So these would function like peritubular capillaries would up here. The peritubular capillaries are going to be located around the tubules, peritubule, and what those capillaries will do is reabsorb materials that the body wants to keep. That same thing will happen down here. These vasa recta will reabsorb the materials the body wants to keep after they exit the loop of Henle. Now that filtrate is going to be collected by the capsule and sent to the proximal convoluted tubule, which is this right here. Proximal because it's closest to the renal corpuscle, convoluted because it's coiled. Okay. So this is the proximal convoluted tubule. Most of reabsorption will happen at this tubule. Then the filtrate is going to go through the descending limb of the loop of Henle. Here's the loop down here, and then here we have the ascending limb of the loop of Henle. And the terms descending and ascending indicate which direction the filtrate is going to go. Now the filtrate's going to go up the ascending limb of the loop of Henle to the distal convoluted tubule. It's called distal because it's farther away from the renal corpuscle, and it's also convoluted, it's also coiled, hence the name. Now, by the time the filtrate gets through the distal convoluted tubule and ends up in the collecting duct, which is this structure right here all the way down, once the filtrate gets to the collecting duct, it's considered urine. So urine will move down the collecting duct all the way down to the papillary duct, which is simply the collecting duct portion in the renal papilla and then the urine will leak out into a minor calyx, or small cup, which would be situated right here. This right here is a nephron, and a nephron consists of a renal corpuscle and renal tubules. The renal corpuscle consists of the glomerulus and the glomerular capsule. 
The renal tubules consist of the proximal convoluted tubule, the descending limb of the loop of Henle, the loop down here, and then the ascending limb of the loop of Henle, and the distal convoluted tubule. If you found this video helpful, click like and consider subscribing to my channel. Don't forget to visit www.humanbodyhelp.com.